We're trying to acknowledge the First Nation and Métis history of the region in all kinds of different ways. And so the goal is, let's find out who our people are and who's your family and how do you fit on the ground when you walk this earth. Know a little bit about the people who walked here before you. I call this place by its indigenous name, which is Kistapananik, and it, it's because Prince Albert was a gathering place of nations for many thousands of years. My name is Joanna Mackay. I was born in Prince Albert, Saskatchewan. We're the indigenous knowledge keepers, so we represent a number of tribal communities in the region, as well as both the English and the French Métis. The first mayor of Prince Albert was Thomas Mackay. Thomas Mackay was actually, he's a great, 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 great uncle, something like that. And, and so a lot of people are not aware that he was an indigenous mayor of Prince Albert. There were a number of different tribes that gathered in this area at different times, going back even to the Dene who spent a thousand years here and eventually went south, became the Navajo and the Arapaho. And then in some of my non-First Nations history during the fur trade, uh, the Métis. My name is Leah Marie Dorian. I'm a Métis artist. I have really enjoyed living in Prince Albert and moving back here to raise my son in this community because I have such a huge Métis family still living here and we have so many opportunities, you know, for me as an artist, writer, Métis citizen to be involved in this community. I think we're in a time where our Métis history is starting to be recognized in the community and they're realizing that it was a huge Métis settlement at one point. We have many Métis families buried here and who live their lives here, who helped build the first log churches, they helped put in the first roads. I think what's distinct about the Métis Indigenous people of this region, this land is what made us distinct, you know, and, and made us interesting because when we came here, it was the height of the fur trade and we had really powerful, positive relationships with the people who already lived here. There was a great deal of respect and sharing of cultures, but it's the land itself. I read so many stories of people making that trek, you know, from York Factory to the Red River, from the Red River to the Prince Albert region, and this was a very well-known region because it was one of those very important gathering places and the valley between the two rivers. This was a place where bison loved to come to spend the early spring and summer. So a lot of people came here to hunt and to fish and to trap and to get to know each other and learn each other's stories. And it does something to you to know when you put your feet on the ground here that your relatives walked here. You know, so we all learned each other's dances, we learned each other's songs. It's the way the land shaped us and the way the relationships with one another shaped us that makes us, you know, truly distinct. Métis art has such color, pattern. Our Métis art style is connected to our beadwork tradition and our traditional art forms. And because being Métis, we had access to really amazing fur trade fabrics, ribbons, beads, silk embroidery. We made amazing art forms on our clothing. And so my artwork, even though I'm a contemporary Métis artist, I think it's rooted in our Métis traditional arts. We try to make sure that we're representing the histories of our peoples based on the best of our own knowledge. And we try to be really respectful and generous with each other about, you know, about that learn, and we learn so much from each other. It's just remarkable. So it's been wonderful to be a part of that team and to work with the Historic Museum as well as with the city.